Welcome to the shop. Hope everyone's having a great day. All right, if you watched the last video, which I put up in the cards right here, you'll understand why I'm wearing a t-shirt like this instead of my regular Vader Nas shirts, but time to get on this. And then hopefully we get to grinding the bevels and all that stuff and get everything prepared for heat treat. I got to get the handles done, which I got laid out here. I put my website up in the cards. It's also the first down in the description with Amazon links. Do me a favor and make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. All right, let's just get to the bandsaw and cut these handles out. So I went ahead and drilled these off camera. It's basically just a number 29 for 830 seconds. <laughs> See, I put no tap right there. <laughs> so I wouldn't get them backwards. And then we can kind of shape them together. And uh, yeah, see where we're at. And then we can drill this out and figure that all out. And since I always use these for handles, it's epoxy together. <laughs> But when you go to the bench, put the hand the one you need. That way it's not in your way. <laughs> All right, now I gotta go uh, drill these out. To what I, let me see where my screws are. Here's the thickness of my screw, so this is just a teeny bit bigger. I'll be back. All right, let's break the 90s on there. I got a 150, I'm gonna break the 90s on both, and then uh, we'll mark it out and see where we wanna go from here. <laughs> I'll put knife making 101 up in the cards, so you, you'll see how I dike them in and mark it and all that stuff. And, if you don't know what breaking the 90s and all that is, and it's all explained in Knife Making 101. Let's start with this one. My last combat abrasive 40. Maybe the last one will pull through. <laughs> I've had nothing but problems with these things. I hate talking bad about, look at this, what the hell is, and I started grinding and all of a sudden it moved over again, remember the last one jumped off, if you watched that video, I don't know where the video was, 
but it just came off the whole grinder. Yeah, man, these things get hot. I, uh, I hate saying anything bad about them, but maybe, maybe they're just not for me. I, I don't know, but man, woo, they get hot. The belt's all rocking and going crazy. I went to move it this way and it went that way. I, I don't know what's going on. Let's see if this belt will make it through too. <laughs> I was I was a foot away from it. I didn't go anywhere near it. <laughs> bye bye, combat abrasive. All right, maybe it is my, maybe it is me. Maybe it's this plotting on top. It's too high. So I'll give combat braces the benefit of the doubt. Let's put it back on. I hate to blame a belt when it's my fault, so. It's a little worn, but okay. The top platen was was the problem. So <laughs> enough bagging on combat abrasives. You gotta try them out for yourself. Maybe you know, like I say, maybe I got a bad batch. Now I will say the Combat Abrasive 120 I have had luck with, so maybe it's just the 40s don't like me. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Ha 
<laughs> I'm sure I just jinxed myself. Now I won't cut a... Ah. Seems like this is the good side, so let's flip it. There's a lot of belts that have this problem. <laughs> oh, you gotta understand, it's uh, 1.30 in the morning, so I'm going a little delirious too, so it's probably not even the belts at all. <laughs> The funny thing is, I still gotta bring this back here after heat treat, so I don't know why I'm so worried. Me and my OCD, just that little teeny swoop, is <laughs> driving me crazy. <laughs> can't blame that. The platen was down. I went to move it that way and it jumped. Damn it, I'm trying to give these belts the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll save this. This is still a good 120, but I don't trust them anymore. these handles up I got this little plate instead of a one two three block because these stick through all right so I'm just gonna hit it on here and uh, get it down smooth then we'll put it back on the horizontal and get it on it's just easier to hit this to get it down the wheel just is, makes everything smooth then we'll take it off I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna do <laughs> Here's why I can't really use one, two, three blocks. So, <laughs> I mean, I could set this lower, but I'm just gonna keep this wheel and go around and see where we go. these smaller screws because those other ones are just a little bit longer. Woo, 
it's a close one. <laughs> I just happened to find this piece of steel and it fits perfect, so. <laughs> no, hey, we just gotta get in here. Cause in here and back here are different than the actual knife, but. The one thing I hate about aluminum, it gets so hot so quick. And that, you know, with steel, it only gets hot in the spot. Aluminum absorbs heat, so you'll be grinding here, and all of a sudden your fingers are on fire back here. <laughs> Well, that's about it. Tomorrow's heat treat, but the video will probably be out in a few days after that. So, uh, wish me luck and see what happens and stay tuned and all that good stuff. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Remember, my website's up in the cards in the first down in the link. Amazon affiliate links are also down there on all my website. Let's see, I'll put Knife Making 101 right here. I'll put all my playlists about Hamon so you can see my complete obsession. Subscribe is right here, and my website's right here. Hope you all are having a great day, and as always, take it easy.